Welcome to Barstool Investigates. My name is John Rich, and that is Ben Mint's house. Dave Portnoy has personally sent me here to New Orleans, Louisiana to investigate Barstool's hardest working employee, Benjamin Mintz. I love Dave Portnoy. I love Barstool Sports. The states that are Barstool Sportsbook app states are huge priority in this company, Louisiana being one. I think New Orleans is almost just its own separate entity. Been kind of like emotional being back here. What is your favorite thing about the Barstool Sportsbook? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. <laughs> do you not know about the Barstool Sportsbook? I'm not really. <laughs> what do you know about Ben Mintz? Ben Mills? Do you know Ben Mintz? I don't know Ben Mintz, but... King, King of the South? I don't, but I'm kind of in my New Orleans bubble. Does Ben Mintz mean nothing to you? Ben Mintz? Ben Mintz? Has anybody brought you the Barstool Sportsbook yet? No, we haven't. King of the too. South? King of the South, no. That's him. I'm the King of the South. You're the King of the South? I'm the King, I'm the king of the Villages. <laughs> Our, we have a new competitor. What is life like with Ben Mintz as your boss? Well, it's funny because a lot of people, you know, do consider Ben my boss. And mm -hmm. for the longest time I did too, but I feel like we're on even playing fields at the moment. Did you consider Ben Mintz your boss? That, that was a joke, but oh, now no. oh, no, I, there, yeah. was, there was a point where he was like, this is boss Ben Mintz. <laughs> How do you think the Pelicans community took the canceling of the happy hour? I mean, with that, that video going so viral, I know everyone was expecting to see Mincy there, mm -hmm. maybe open up another bobblehead. I mean, that was, that was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. And again, unintentional, just makes me laugh. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think they were heartbroken and are definitely looking forward to next year. I've heard your husband does a Ben Mintz impression. He does. I'm so excited about tonight. So we're going to go to the Pelicans game, we're going to go to the Oysters first, and we're going to, oh man, I'm going to eat so many Oysters. Should I wear the Barstool Sportsbook hoodie? I don't, oh shit, I don't know, but man, what do you think? You think I should wear it? I don't, no, 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 I'm not going to wear it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put, I'm lost. I, I, <laughs> you're I, good, you, you're good, you're good, you did good. Have you been to a Pelicans game? Yeah, I've been to Ben Mintz, you've been to multiple uh, I've never, no, I've never been, been with Ben Mintz. Oh, so but you've I've never been, been I've never a had the honor to go to a Pelicans game. Never been to the blender with Ben. So, <laughs> nope. No, but I'm looking forward. King Stadium. That's the blender. Yeah. Okay, you cool. like that? Okay. Yeah. How do you expect the crowd to react when he's when Ben Mintz walks into the building? It's going to be like a open arm embrace, like we'll love you no matter what, King. Do you think he'll wear a Barstool Sportsbook hoodie again? I think he probably threw that one in the back of the pile and it probably won't be washed for some time. Which doesn't mean he won't wear, but just not to the blender. All right, we're here at the Pelicans game right now. I got Ben Mintz clocked about 10, 15 rows right down there. He brought his date, Megan, making money. Looked like a lovely couple, um, having a good time. I am not quite satisfied with how close we are right now. And it looks like there's a few empty seats down there. So we're gonna try and move a little bit closer. I'm honestly not sure for Soli. If I walked right past them and sat at the seat, one to two seats to his left, it's wide open, and I'm wearing my disguise, would he recognize me? Would Ben Mintz actually recognize me if I walked directly in front of his face? Or honestly, maybe I don't even need the disguise. He might not know who I am. I, I mean, I do sit two entire seats away from him, so. The video is just basically if anyone says King of the South or anything, that way we can get them in the video. Let's see. I don't know where Todd's at. I do. I know where Todd is. He's the top of 112. Ooh, the food smells good. 
No carbs. No carbs, Vincy. Day five. No carbs. No carbs. Day five. Day five. Hold on. Day six. Feeling shirts. Look at that. Look at that shirt. Those little shirts look a little bigger. I think my boobs are shrinking a little. Yeah, we're shrinking. I think a little. I don't know. Look, if Ben Mintz would have came any other day, the bobblehead would not have even had styrofoam. He came on special styrofoam ass bobblehead night, made a whole mess around this entire section. If you just would have got a regular bobblehead in plastic. That's not even a bobblehead, but if you would have got a regular figurine in plastic, Ben Mintz happy hour would still be going on. It was good to see Ben Mintz up close and personal, working late into Monday night. Throughout the game, he was all but mobbed by his fans. He brought the sports book to each and every one. But there were a few more people we needed to speak with before our time in New Orleans was over. Speed Demon, Speed Demon, yes. You have the pleasure of training Ben Mintz, mastermind behind the Speed Demon, Speed Demon video. Yes. How, how did you get in touch? How did you meet Ben Mintz? I've known Ben for at least 10 years, if not a little longer. I met him through a mutual friend who went to widespread panic shows with him. And um, I trained him back in the day out of the Jewish Community Center. Fill in the blank. As a client, Mincy is... Relentless. Do you know what the Barstool Sportsbook is? I have learned about it. I'm not really their target audience mm -hmm. as a white female lesbian, but mm -hmm. I do have a deep knowledge and love for sports. We've always gotten along about sports and that's where we've always interlapped. Okay. Do you consider Mincy the king of the South? He's definitely the king of Mississippi. He's got some work to do to like wrap Louisiana mm. around his finger a little bit more. Any life lessons you've learned from Ben mm. Stay positive is, I mean, I guess the essence because he's just one of the most positive beings I've ever been around. Mm -hmm. Whether it's gambling, sports, his friendships, working out with me, he brings it every time. So right. it's always a pleasure to work with him and right. just hang out and be in his presence. What is the, what's the end goal for Ben Mintz? His goal is just to be happy and healthy. And I know he has a specific goal of like, I think he wants to reach around like 2.30. It okay. would be like a like dream weight for him. So if uh, we got closer to that, that would be awesome. Monica, thanks so much for coming today. Um, I believe Ben Mintz might be on his way. Uh, any last words? Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Thank you for giving me the time and the platform. 806, Mincy. Wonder if that'll be in the Dave report. Ben Mintz, the clock Ben Mintz. It's 8.10, 10 minutes late. Ben Mintz walking down the middle of the road. It's very limber. Wonder how long he works out. It's a real up close view of Mincy here. a lot of talking, not a lot of speed demon, no quick movements. That can't be good for the tree. What if his leg just snaps? It's raining now. No days off. Wake up, Mincy, get your mind right, go! <laughs> Wake up, Mincy, get your mind right. Take it back, take it back. That's pretty good. I could have gone a lot worse. It's wet out there. I got a wet Mincy, wet ground, wet ladder, whatever the fuck you call it. That could have gone a lot worse. I thought it looked pretty good. That'll go viral. He just did one round. He gave a phone to the trainer, went back and forth on the ladder for a video, and that's it. There's no more speed. She said he joined the fucking, she said he joined the, he joined the Jewish community center, correct? Is yeah. that what she told she, us? She or am I misremembering No, that? she said that. I Means he's Jewish. King of the South, can you? I don't want to say that I'm in trouble. Can, but you, can, 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 you, can you be the King of the South and be Jewish? If he doesn't do any more agility, I'm going to be kind of pissed off. She said she wanted to try to get him to puke. 
So this doesn't look like a puke inducer. Ah, oh, no, he's tired. He's turning red. Look how red he's getting. Twenty more seconds. Yeah, he's also he's about to run a ten k. Yeah. We learned that the other day. He'll be announcing that. Don't worry. In case in case you thought he wasn't running a ten k for content. The Ben Mintz International Fun Run five k for the to cure. To support the hogs. To support the hogs. <laughs> the Ben Mintz ten k to support hogs for a cause. I thought his shirt said "Not a Hero." I think it says "Not a Herb," which I don't think. You can say in front of a Jewish woman. Look at that. Not a herb. Is that a slur? Maybe he's not Jewish. After a strenuous morning workout, Mincy went home to take a well deserved nap. So we went to meet up with one of his longtime friends, Devin, for a Mincy style lunch. Who are you? My name is Devin Snow, mm -hmm. um, also known as, I got a, a couple different aliases other than my real name. Uh, they know me as Holden Mayo, Snow Like John, Mayo, you know, really that's, that, that's who I am. How the fuck do you eat this? Got the tail. Well, you know why I'm here? You know Ben Mintz, I've been told you know Ben Mintz. Yeah, I know Ben Mintz. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, like one is like you fucking hate Ben Mint's guts, and ten is like you revere him, like he's a god. I'm Where, at a seven. You're at a seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Seven. So that's actually pretty complimentary. Respect the guy. Okay. Uh, fun guy to hang out with. Okay. First time I ever met Ben Mintz, bro. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be dead ass with you. First time I ever met Ben Mintz was at a Andy Frasco concert. Okay, Andy Fred, this guy looks like fucking Anderson Varajal, okay? <laughs> Just a really, looks like if That's Anderson, a good look. That's he looks a like good if look. Anderson Varajal fucked Slideshow Bob, you okay. know, from The Simpsons. A hot guy. Yeah, and uh, puts on a great concert. Uh, we had a great time, uh, you know, sober night. Yeah, of sober, course, yeah, sober, sober guy. For Mince, yeah. I was loaded as a ham sandwich. He was Mincy sober. Yeah, he was Mincy sober. Um, and it was just a great night, man. Like, I remember looking over to Mince and being like, man, like, what's going on here? He's like, man, like, you know, it's spiritual. And I was like, bro, it kind of is. Like, I'm starting to fucking cry. You know what I'm saying? Like, told the guy that performed after, like, man, what a spiritual. That was the night I met Ben Mintz. We were out till five in the morning. Sober night. I would like to see Mintz, like, in the hood. You know, like, shit like that. Mincy in the hood. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. You think he'd survive the hood? Yeah, he'd survive. Okay. Do you think Mincy's the king of the south? The king of the south region? He, he can. No, the entire south, yes. I'd give him that. I'd give him that. That's fine. King of New Orleans? Absolutely not. Do you think the people behind us recognize Mincy as the king of the South? Maybe, because that might be his audience right there, to be honest with you. We're trying to figure out if Ben Mintz is the hardest worker in the South. That's what I'm led to believe. Down here, bro, like, nobody really works hard. <laughs> Nobody's working hard. So it would be inauthentic if Ben Mintz... Ben is doing, Ben, what, what Ben is sending to Dave Portnoy and his task and shit like that is just his movements throughout life. Can you do a Mincy impression? Probably not good, but I'll try. Oh, um, please. What's up, fellas? What do you know about Hogs for the Cause? It's the biggest, it's the biggest fundraiser in the country raising money for kids and families who have kids okay. uh, with pediatric brain cancer. Okay. That's what Got it's it. for. Okay, that makes sense. How many lives do you think Mincy saved by drawing attention to hogs for the cause? <laughs> you gotta figure at least 30. At least 30 kids, probably. I bet he saved 30 kids. At least 30 people. Or family, family. 30 families. 30 families. Saved however many kids, then how many, how many hogs has he killed? More than me. Are children's lives more important than hogs? Yeah. Cruz, hello. How you do? Good. What do you do for Barstool Sports? So I do the social media uh, for the city of New Orleans, so I do all the socials for that. At the same time, I also am uh, Ben Mintz's personal assistant. Okay, so Ben Mintz is your boss. Uh, you could say that in a weird kind of way, yeah. How did you get this position, first of all? 
Uh, I was working actually for Tim Tebow and uh, I was doing social media for him. So you upgraded from Tim Tebow to Ben Mims? Uh, you could say that. It's definitely been a uh, totally different personality change, but I think I'm working for a bigger celebrity right now than Tim Tebow. Any chance you have a direct line to Ben Mims? I mean, maybe you have to go through an agent, a no. producer, whatever. If, but maybe if you have a direct line to Ben Mims, can we possibly try to figure out where he is right now? Yeah, I can give him a call. What's up, man? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, man, I'm good. I just, uh, I was taking a nap and then I just like looked at my phone and I said, I was about to respond. Sure, call me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just following up. I, I've been working on the, the, the um, products for you for the for the merchandise. Yeah, no, it's all good. Well, cool, man. Well, enjoy your night off. Uh, good luck to the Rebs, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Sounds like he's at home right now, which means we're going to make a beeline to Ben Mint's home. investigates. My name is John Rich. This is Ben Mim's house. Let's go inside. John Rich. Hello. How are you? You're looking very dapper. Thank you. I, I do look very good. You do? Dave Portnoy has personally sent me down to New Orleans, Louisiana to figure out what you are doing on a daily basis. Obviously, you have your daily reports, but he preferred a more boots on the ground opportunity. I can't say that I'm surprised, but okay, well, good to have you here. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm curious what the hell you have seen in the last 48 hours, but we'll, uh, I guess we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. So how about we start with, how about we start with Monday? How, wh what were you up to on Monday, Ben Mintz? I had a hell of a time with Megan making money at that Pelicans game last night, except for the fact they freaking lost. We were on the Jumbotron. What else did I do yesterday? What else did I even do yesterday? Well, let's move on to Tuesday. You had a workout this morning. Yeah, 8 a.m. trainer, yeah. we've mentioned her. 8 a.m.? Okay. Um, well, I got there well, at 8, 10, 8 or 9. I, I, I got was going to say you got there at 8, 10 a.m. You 8 were a little nine, bit yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. I had 8, 10 on my phone, okay. but you got there a little bit late. I thought I smoked it, though. I just walk around Earth and crazy shit happens all the time. His idea is called More Ben City. It's just more me on camera. That's what we need. Yeah, it's just more me on camera. There's more all that, and we're gonna take it to a whole new level. But, uh... So let me ask, I have heard tell of a new show, a new morning show. Yes, yes. At 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern time, wake up and see. It's gonna be earlier than Elaborate on that. It's gonna be earlier than 11 o'clock. It's gonna be 9 a.m. Eastern. That's... 9 a.m. Eastern? That's 8 a.m. Central. 8 a.m. to 8.30 Central. It's going to be Wake Up Nancy. It's going to be three days a week. Oh uh, thanks to Dan, uh, I've got a box still of blue stuff sitting over there that I hadn't opened yet because I was waiting for the studio for it. How are you able to secure Stella Blue as a sponsor? I walked up to Dan in the hallway right the last week I was there and was like, Dan, what do you think? Of, like, I'm about to start a, I'm gonna start a morning show when I get to New Orleans and I'd like Stella Blue to be involved because and Dan looked at me and in 0.4 seconds said, do it, go for it, you're good. What can you even say about Big Cat? I mean, it's like an honor that he would, you know, even have that much faith in me and, you know, the fact that, it's, it's a great fit for Stella Blue too though, you know, like it's, it's an honor that Dan has faith in me at that level, but it's also like, wake up drinking coffee on a high energy morning show makes sense for everybody. I belong to the Jewish Community Center, which is a half mile away. That would actually be funny if we talked about it. Are you there. Jewish? 
So my la my grandfather was Jewish. My last name is Mintz, but my, so I'm a quarter Jewish. A quarter Jewish. But I um, but I, I I go to a Presbyterian church. I'm running this race called uh, the, the Crescent City Classic. Basically, I'm gonna do it to raise money for Hogs for the Cause. Uh, which is the week before, and Hogs is uh, Barstool is part of it the last with last year, but it's uh, a world class barbecue music fest that raised two point there is two point seven million for families fighting child cancer last year, and uh, I'm gonna run it to raise money for my team. Well, I hope it does. And you mentioned this, uh, you submit daily reports to Dave Portnoy. Would you normally send your daily reports? Uh, anytime like the late like around now usually, um, usually six or seven central okay. but sometimes i mean i some nights like i end up working later you know and I'll, i've sent like, I, yeah but like you know i don't know sometimes i send them later let's see here again but, so look at all the emails chamber days look at all, all the daily reports and also part of what's funny if i send a late daily report it's because i'm making sure i get enough on it but i'm not sending you know I, i'm not i know i'm exposed here with dave so i mean i'm not sending anything that you know i have no idea Right. I'm not in, a, in a daily report, the submitting of the daily report has become content in itself. Well, that was so you should idea. almost add daily report to the end of your daily report. <laughs> well, the, the or I should add other stuff. Other stuff. Well, you already you all you always add other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because there's always other stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So Ben Mintz. Again, I was sent down here by Dave Portnoy to investigate your day-to-day -day whereabouts seeing what you're doing on a regular basis. I have officially taken a full report. I will be taking it back to Dave. And I look forward to seeing more Mincy in the future. Look, gotta leave the people always wanting more, but we gotta give the people what they want.